हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज सेशन फोर ऑफ चैप्टर ह्यूमन आई एंड द कलरफुल वर्ड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डिस्पर्जन ऑफ वाइट लाइट बाय अ ग्लास प्रेजम एटमोस्फेरिक रिफ्लेक्शन एंड स्केटरिंग ऑफ लाइट एंड डिफरेंट नेचुरल फिनोमिना एसोसिएटेड विद दीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस रिफ्लेक्शन बाय ग्लास प्रेजम एंड डिस्पर्जन बाय ग्लास प्रेज सो वट इज प्रेज अ प्रेज इज अ ट्रांसपेरेंट रिफ्लेक्टिव डिवाइस bounded by five plane surfaces inclined at some angles it bends the light two times and emergent ray is at an angle to the incident ray and that angle is called the angle of deviation now this picture shows the refraction of white light or a monochromatic light by a glass prism here pq is the incident ray and n and dash is the normal at the point of incidence and this angle angle between the normal and the incident ray is the angle of incidence since light is entering glass from air that is optically denser medium from optically rare medium it bends towards the normal hence ef is the refracted ray and this angle r is the angle of refraction again at the inter- ac interface glass air interface when light emerges out as it entering the optically rare medium it bends away from the normal thus the light bends two times but the direction of emergence makes an angle with the direction of propagation of the incident ray and this angle is called the angle of deviation this peculiarity in the shape of the prism give rise to a splitting of white light into seven colors that is when a white light enters into a prism it gets split into its seven constituent colors and this phenomenon is called dispersion of white light the seven constituent colors of white light can be given by the acronym vibio v for violet i for indigo b for blue g for green y for yellow o for orange and r for red and the band of these seven colors is called the spectrum dispersion figuratively means distribution we should all remember that the vibio is written from downward to upward direction that is violet is the most deviated light and red is the least deviated light now why does dispersion occur dispersion occur as refraction or amount of bending differ with the color the different colors of light bend through different angles with respect to the incident ray as they pass through a prism the red light bends the least while the violet most thus the rays of each color emerges along different paths and thus become distinct it happens because we know that speed of light of different colors in different medium is different varying speed for different colors lead to different refractive indices for different colors as we know that the refractive index is re- inversely proportional to the speed of light in that medium Isaac Newton was the first to use a glass prism to obtain the spectrum of sunlight he tried to split the light further by using another similar prism however he could not get any more colors He then placed a second identical prism in an inverted position with respect to the first prism like this. This allowed all the colors of the spectrum to pass through the second prism. He found a beam of white light emerging from the other side of the second prism. This observation gave Newton the idea that the sunlight is made up of seven colors. Here this is the white light entering in a prism and get split into seven constant colors. But when these seven colors pass through a prism placed in inverted position a wide beam of light comes out it is so because these two interfaces this and this are parallel to each other hence extent of bending at opposite interfaces is different in direction but same in magnitude thus different colors being combined and white light comes out hence any light that gives a spectrum similar to sunlight is often referred to as white light Now next heading is formation of rainbow. A rainbow is a natural spectrum appearing in the sky after a rain shower. It is caused by dispersion of sunlight by tiny water droplets present in the atmosphere which acts as a small prism. The droplets of water refract and disperse the incident sunlight then reflect it internally and finally reflect it again when it comes out of the rain drop. Due to the dispersion of light and internal reflection different colors reach the observer's eye here the light enters in a tiny droplets and at point b refraction occurs and light gets split into its seven colors 
But at point C, the total internal reflection occur about which we will learn in our next session or in higher classes. And when at point D, again refraction occur when light comes out of the water drop and different colors reaches to the observer's eye and he sees the beautiful rainbow. We should keep following things in our mind that a rainbow is always found in a direction opposite to that of sun because in the direction of sun the dim lit objects cannot be seen. And second thing we can also see a rainbow on a sunny day when we look at the sky through a waterfall or through a water fountain with the sun behind us. Now see this picture, what you are seeing. We are seeing water in a hot desert. But we all know this is not the water, it is only an illusion. Now look at this picture, this pic is taken in the Gulf of Riga, you can google to see where the Gulf of Riga is. Here you can see that there is a ship over a ship. Here again, a ship over another ship and a ship over a ship. It is actually an illusion and this is the image of the ship of this actual ship and both these phenomena, this one and this one are called the mirage. This one is the mirage created in the hot deserts and this one is the mirage created in very cold climatic areas. These mirages occur because of the atmospheric refraction of the light. What is atmospheric refraction of light? Atmospheric refraction is the deviation of light or other electromagnetic wave from a straight line as it passes through the atmosphere due to the variation in air density. The different phenomena observed because of atmospheric refraction are as follows. First, the apparent random wavering or flickering of object seen through a turbulent stream of hot air rising above a fire or a radiator, twinkling of stars, advanced sunrise and delayed sunset, the apparent flattening of the sun's disk at sunrise and the sunset and mirage. Mirage is not in the course of class 10. Now the first question is the apparent random wavering or flickering of objects seen through a turbulent stream of hot air rising above the fire or a radiator. Why does this happen? This happens because of the atmospheric refraction of light. The air just above the fire becomes hotter than the air further up. The hotter air is lighter, that is less dense, than the cooler air above it and has a refractive index slightly less than that of the cooler air as the refractive index of air decreases as its density decreases. Since the physical conditions of the refractive medium air are not stationary, Hence, the apparent position of the object as seen through the hot air fluctuates. Now we all have seen the stars twinkling in the night sky. Why does stars twinkle? The starlight on entering the earth's atmosphere undergoes refraction continuously before it reaches the earth. The atmospheric refraction occurs in a medium of gradually increasing refractive index as the density of air increases as its height decreases. Since the atmosphere bent starlight towards the normal, the apparent position of the star is slightly higher than its actual position when viewed near the horizon. Further, this apparent position of the star is not stationary. This is the actual position of star and this is the apparent position of star. This apparent position of star keeps on changing since the physical conditions of the earth atmosphere are not stationary. Since the stars are very distant, they are like approximate point size source of light. As the path of rays of light coming from the star goes on varying slightly, the apparent position of the star fluctuate and the amount of starlight entering the eye also flicker. The star sometimes appear brighter and sometimes at some other times fainter and this give rise to twinkling effect of the stars. Now the question is why don't the planets twinkle? When we see the night sky, stars appear like this and planets appear like this. Why does this happen? We know that planets are very close to the earth and very so they appear very large 
with respect to the stars hence a planet can be considered as a extended source of light if we consider a planet as a collection of large number of point sized sources of light the total variation in the amount of light entering our eye from the all the individual point sized sources will average out to zero thereby nullifying the twinkling effect and that's why planet do not twinkle now what is the reason of advanced sunrise and delayed sunset the sun is visible to us about 2 minutes before the actual sunrise and about 2 minutes after the actual sunset because of the atmospheric refraction by actual sunrise we mean the actual crossing of the sun over the horizon the actual and apparent position of the sun with respect to the horizon is shown in the figure this is the actual position of the sun and this is the apparent position of the sun why does this happen if in this question we replace the word star with the sun we will get the answer of early sunrise because here it is written that apparent position of star or sun is slightly above than its actual position now next topic is scattering of light the atoms or molecules of media like air or water which are exposed to light absorb light energy and re emit light in different directions or diffusively with different intensity this phenomena is called a scattering of light this is the sunlight and these are the molecules of atmosphere they absorb the sunlight and then re emit them in different directions and this phenomena is called a scattering of light the color of scattered light depends on the size of the scattering particles very fine particles scatter mainly blue light whose wavelength is very small particles of larger size scatter light of longer wavelength and if the size of the scattering particles is large enough then the scattered light may even appear white the different phenomena observed because of the scattering of light are as follows the blue color of the sky color of water in deep sea the reddening of the sun at sunrise and the sunset and the tindal effect now in class 9th in the chapter is matter around us pure we learned about three type of mixture solution colloid and suspension in solution the size of particle is too small that they cannot be seen even by microscope in colloid the particles cannot be seen with unaided eyes but can be seen with microscope but in suspension the particles of solute can be seen with the unaided eyes and we know that when a beam of light passes through solution colloid and suspension the solution do not make the path of light visible but colloid and suspension make the path of light visible and this phenomena is called tindal effect this phenomena can be seen when a fine beam of sunlight enters a room through a small hole the scattering light makes the particles visible tindal effect can also be observed when sunlight passes through a canopy of dense forest here tiny water droplets in the mist scatter light this phenomena can also be observed when sunlight enters through small windows between the clouds especially during the rainy seasons now have you ever pondered why the color of the clear sky is blue this is because of scattering of sunlight by the molecules of the atmosphere the molecules of air and other fine particles in the atmosphere have size is smaller than the wavelength of visible light these are more effective in scattering light of shorter wavelengths at the blue end than the light of longer wavelength at the red end the red light has a wavelength about 1.8 times greater than the blue light thus when sunlight passes through the atmosphere the fine particles in air scatter the blue light of which is of shorter wavelength more strongly than the red the scattered blue light enters our eyes hence the color of clear sky appears blue the sky appears dark to passengers flying at very high altitude as scattering is not prominent at such heights the wavelength of the light of violet color is least whereas that of red color is highest the 
अब एवन ऑफ द वॉलेट इज लीस्ट एंड डेथ ऑफ रेड कलर इज हाइस्ट एंड वॉलेट इज द मोस्ट डेविटेड लाइट वेयर एज रेड इज द लीस्ट डेविटेड लाइट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द रिलेशन स्पीड इज इक्वल टू वेव लेंथ जो फ्रीक्वेंसी वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट ऑफ रेड कलर इज द हाइस्ट एंड स्पीड ऑफ लाइट ऑफ वॉलेट कलर इज द लीस्ट हैंस द वॉलेट इज द मोस्ट स्कैटर्ड लाइट एंड रेड इज द लीस्ट स्कैटर्ड लाइट Now, what is the cause of reddening of the sun at sunrise and sunset? Light from the sun near the horizon passes through thicker layer of air and larger distance in the Earth's atmosphere before reaching our eyes. However, light from the sun overhead would travel relatively shorter distance. At noon, the sun appears white as only a little of blue and violet colors are scattered. near the horizon most of the blue light and shorter wavelengths are scattered away by the particles therefore the light that reaches our eyes is of longer wavelength this give rise to the reddish appearance of the sun here we can see that during noon this small distance is traveled in the atmosphere but at the time of evening or sunrise the distance traveled by sunrise sunlight in the atmosphere is very long about four times of this distance and because of this most of the colors of light except that of red and are scattered by the atmosphere and hence only red light reaches to the viewer eye and sun appears red now we have seen that the sign of stop light in traffic lights is red the police lights are red the danger signals along the roads are also painted red why it is so danger signals are red in color because it is scattered the least as i have told you earlier by the air molecules as the effect of scattering is inversely related to the fourth power of the wavelength of the color and the wavelength of the red color is highest and we know that wavelength of the light of red color is longest and its speed is highest so red color is used as danger signal as it is able to travel to longest distance through the fog rain etc since formation of rainbow blue color of clear sky twinkling with stars are phenomena associated with the interaction of light and the atmosphere of earth and such phenomena cannot be observed from the surface of the moon or from a space center that is why the sky appear dark instead of blue to an astronaut that's all for this session i hope you like the presentation thank you very much